Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a scrapbook layout for Kidaholics kits and I'm using the August 2022 kit for my layout today. And I really wanted to feature the beautiful blue toned lay, um, pattern paper that we got in the kit this month. Um, so that gorgeous Vicky Boot and Sweet Rush with those beautiful navy florals, um, that darker blue, navy blue pattern paper as well. And I'm also using as um, a frame for the photo the Heidi Swap um, graduated sort of I guess it's not a rainbow um, I feel like it's sort of a sandy desert type um, sort of patterned paper um, so I'm just cutting some pieces down because I'm also going to do some manual die cutting so I don't get out my cuddle bug very often um, but I wanted to create this layout with some dimensional flowers um, across the page um, and I thought the perfect way to do that was to grab out my manual dies I am terrible at drawing if you don't have a manual die cutting machine or you don't have a silhouette machine you could do also do a cut file you could create these sort of layered flowers by hand I'm no good at that so I, I, I aimed for the manual die cutting so I've cut out um, to create um, some multi-layered flowers and I've also cut out some leaves as well that I'm going to sit amongst all these flowers. Now you'll see there that the leaves I've cut out in that aqua sort of greeny color but I've also cut out a few of just in that corally tone and a little bit of the yellow and that's mainly because of the pattern paper choice that I've done here for my border. Um, because it has those different tones um, I thought it would be a good way just to make sure that the, that there's a cohesiveness between the frame and the die cutouts. Um, so hence why I've used um, not just, I thought at first I would probably just use the aqua color uh, and then I realized no I needed some more color in those as well. So really bold flowers and then a little bit more capacity softish colors for the leaves. I've gone really simple as well. I'm not doing a lot of mixed media on this one. So I cut down my white cardstock there. Um, I've left quite a wide border on this one because I really love that pattern paper and I wanted it to also be sort of seeing a little bit on the page. And all I've done here is just added some gold splatters onto the background just to give a little bit of interest on the page. So nothing major, no no major um, inking work or watercolor work here. Um, and there is no gesso on my cardstock either. So really simple. I love just having splutters on a page. So I think it's just a nice subtle way to, to have some mixed media, um, even if you're not very experienced at doing mixed media. So with the flower, uh, the sorry, the hearts that I've cut out, I am giving them a bit of distress distressing there with my distress tool and I'm also inking around the edges as well because I want them to be able to pop off the page and I'm also folding them up a little bit so they're going to have some dimension as well once they're sitting on the page. Um, now for my flowers I'm just pulling these together just adding the layers and then the, the little I've pulled out from my stash which was all within a previous kit as well the Jen Hadfield um, hearts the puffy hearts uh, I love those hearts I've got still some left so I love to be able to incorporate those in my layouts and I thought that was a really nice way to add the gold into the um, background as well so I'm just literally really quick and simple this one really by the time I put everything together um, I just really wanted to give a bit of a garden effect really um, so I just scattered the flowers across the page and then just randomly placed all the leaves uh, in amongst those flowers and then I'm pulling through and adding the hearts into a couple of empty areas um, and then I'm starting to look at what I'm doing for the photo. So you would have seen me there. I have popped the photo up on some cardboard um, and I've just stuck that down to the, glued that down to the page. Um, and I really love that sort of film strip piece. So I added that as a layer to sit underneath the photo. I did back the photo with some pattern paper as well. Um, so I've kept, but again, I've kept it really simple. Just doodling a gold um, line around the page 
Um, I took it nice and slow. I'm really not good at the drawing bit. So it's a little bit messy, um, but I really like giving that bit of dimension there. Um, if you were sort of trying to do this layout, if you were into stitching, I think some stitching around the edges would be awesome as well. Um, but I am not a stitcher or, um, or a sewer or any way, shape or form. So um, I'm happy just to do some doodling around the page. What I also did with the flowers is to give them the, some dimension, I have curled up the edges as well. Now I know they'll flatten if I put these into an album, but for the time being, I'm happy with that dimension that gets created um, as we're progressing through pulling this layout. And look what I just did there. I absolutely nearly, ap nearly ruined that entire piece down the bottom there. I did drop my uh, bottle of gold um mist which is really annoying because I have hardly any left and it almost took the, the rest of the bottle out from me um, so that was a little annoying um, and I'm just finalizing here just adding a few more um, pieces of um, the the sorry the leaves around the pages just getting them sitting prop sitting where I want them to so I'm sitting them on top in some cases I'm sitting them on top of the flowers just to add some more dimension to the page as well now I am using just a really simple title for this one I think it was pretty busy now that I've added all those flowers so I've kept this one just to friends this is a photo of um, my Bestie's daughter and her one of her closest friends. Um, we were all together at Easter, which makes me realize I think nearly every lad I did this month was um, from that trip at Easter. Um, I am using just some thickers from my stash in gold. Um, now it didn't quite fit on the page there, so I've added the S up onto the photo. That doesn't bother me. It's still, I feel it's still okay to put there. I did think about pulling it in and putting it in amongst the flowers, but it sort of got a little bit lost when I tried that. Um, and then just to finish off, I wanted to add in a few more um, hearts. So I'm just then just distressing the edges like I did with the others and inking them around the edges. And I do eventually put them two of them up the top there on the left hand side above the photo. And that pretty much is it for the layout today. I do go back over with some splatters, um, both in gold and also in white, just to give those darker navy tones of the flowers just a little bit more oomph um, a little bit more um, dimension I guess by putting some white splatters on top of that darker blue and I really like how that turned out um, so yeah I faffed around quite a bit with this last heart um, but I do end up putting it up the top left hand side it took me a couple of goes until I was really happy with that as always I will leave in the description box below all the information about how you can get this um the kits from the Kidaholic store. Um, and if you're a subscriber, we also have a private subscriber group on Facebook where we share exclusives um, and you have access to um, extra challenges throughout the month um, and um, early informa information around the kits and all things, um, all things kit related. So we love hearing what you're all up to as well. I've got some close-ups as always as well to share. And I want to thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye for now.